Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel, I read poetry, mostly work from contemporary poets, occasionally some of my own, and once in a while, poems from the past. Um, this episode continues a little departure from our usual format. Uh, last episode, we uh, did sort of a deep dive into the, well, we read a poem by Li Bai, um, Song Yo Ran, uh, which is uh, poem 102 in the 300 Tang poems. It's considered one of the classics of uh, Chinese poetry and Chinese literature. Um, this particular poem, um, we uh, examined it in, I read it in Chinese, uh, in Mandarin, and then we, we went character by character, broke it down to the raw literal translation, um, and thought about uh, sort of what was happening in terms of uh, content, what was happening in terms of linguistic elements and structural poetic elements, uh, rhetorical elements uh, that were going on. Um, today we're gonna move on from there. and We're gonna look at 13 different translations of this poem. Um, and so for this, we're, we're just going to uh, well, basically, we're going to look at 13 translations. I'll just read them. I'll provide the uh, the text so you can read it along and see what, what's happening. Um, the next episode, uh, we're going to revisit uh, the original and these translations and consider what type of choices were made and how people addressed um, or didn't address different features and elements of the original poem. Um, and really, we're getting to the heart of like what happens in translation, why any translation is ultimately doomed to some type of failure. The question is, what type of beauty can we carry over even though we know that the attempt is always going to be flawed or incomplete? Um, and certainly there are things that um, some translations do better and some translators seem to have a, a better affinity for and other translations and other translators may struggle with, but then pull our attention to something else. Yeah, so we learn a little bit about priorities, what people consider important in a translation. So all this basically is uh, what's coming up. And uh, without further ado, uh, let's go to the translations. Taking leave of an old friend. Blue mountains to the north of the walls, white river winding about them. Here we must make separation and go out through a thousand miles of dead grass, mind like a floating wide cloud, sunset like the parting of old acquaintances who bow over their clasped hands at a distance, our horses neigh to each other as we are parting. Farewell to a friend. With a blue line of mountains north of the wall and east of the city, a white curve of water, here you must leave me and drift away like a loosened water plant hundreds of miles. I shall think of you in a floating cloud, so in the sunset think of me. We wave our hands to say goodbye, and my horse is neighing again and again. To see off a friend. North of the city wall, green hills extend, and sparkling waters lap its eastern edge. It's here we bid the last farewell. You'll travel like the tumbleweed too far. Even your thoughts are wayward clouds, like this friend's heart sinking like the sun. Wave to me now and be off. I hear the impatient whinnying of your horse. Taking leave of a friend. Here, at the city wall, green mountains to the north, white water winding east, we part. One tumbleweed, ten thousand miles to go, high clouds, wandering thoughts, sunset, old friendship, you wave, moving off, your, ho your horse whinnies, twice. Farewell to a friend. Green mountains bar the northern sky, white water girds the eastern town. Here is the place to say goodbye. You'll drift like lonely thistle down, with floating cloud you'll float away, like parting day I'll part from you. We wave as you start on your way, our steeds still neigh, adieu, adieu. Taking leave of a friend. 
Green mountains lie across the north wall. White water winds the east city. Here, once we part, lone tumbleweed. A million miles to travel. Floating clouds, a wanderer's mood. Setting sun, an old friend's feeling. We wave hands, you go from here. Nay, nay, goes the horses. Seen off a friend. Dark hills stretch beyond the north rampart. Clear water circles the city's east wall. From this place where farewell begins, a tumbleweed leaves on a thousand mile journey. Drifting clouds and travelers' thoughts, the setting sun and an old friend's heart, as we wave and say goodbye, our parting horses neighing. seen a friend off blue mountains past the north wall white water snaking eastward here we say goodbye for the last time you will fade like a hayseed blowing ten thousand miles away floating clouds are the way of the wanderer the sun sets like the hearts of old friends we wave goodbye as you leave horses neigh and neigh seen off a friend green mountains draw a line beyond the northern rampart white water curls around the eastern wall this place good as any for parting ahead just the lonely briars where you'll march ten thousand li floating clouds the traveler's ambition falling sun your old friend's feelings we touch hands and now you go muffled sighs and the post horses neighing Farewell to a friend. Green hills lie beyond the northern city walls. Surrounding the east side are white waterfalls. From this scenery spot you are about to depart, like a tumbling weed traveling thousands miles afar. Drifting clouds represent the traveler's mindset, but our friendship is eternal, just like the sunset. We wave our hands as you are on your way, our horses call each other, even from very far away. Farewell to a friend. Green hills skirt the northern border. White waters gird the eastern town. Here we part with each other, and you set out like a lonesome wisp of grass, floating across the miles farther and farther away. You've longed to travel like roaming clouds, but our friendship, unwilling to wane as the sun is to set, is let it be here to stay, as we wave each other goodbye, our horses neigh, as if for us they sigh. Seen off a friend. Blue-green mountains stretch beyond the northern wall. Clear water twists to the east of the city. We are here to separate. A lone dandelion on a thousand-mile journey, like drifting clouds, are the traveler's thoughts, like the setting sun are the feelings of friendship. We wave as we leave this place, the winning of a horse from its herd. Seen off a friend. Green mountains stretch beyond the northern wall. White water winds through the eastern town. Here is the place we've come to part. A lone tumbleweed, ten thousand miles to go. The drifting clouds, the traveler's thoughts, the sun sinking low, what we feel in our aging bones. We wave as we each bid farewell, our horses neighing, our parting sighs. And that's our episode for today. Um, thank you for listening to all these different translations. I'm going to include a list of the, well, for full bibliography information, bibliographic information for each of the different uh, translations um, and where I found them um, in terms of sources. Um, if you're aware of other translations of this poem, I would love to hear about them. Um, and then I could just basically keep expanding my own little collection. Um, this is a kind of a, well, it is a little bit of a hobby of mine to, to keep digging into finding poems that have many, many, many different translations and seeing how they all work. Um, so in any case, I, I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, um, enjoyed this type of content, please uh, like the video and comment below and let me know. Um, 
if you uh, would like to hear more just subscribe and check back often there's new content every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday um, and uh, until next time stay safe stay well and keep reading poetry